This is the 15 inch MacBook Air M3, which has recently released by Apple in 2024. We will start with unboxing and then we're gonna review this laptop so you can decide whether to buy it or not. So this is the Midnight Blue 15 inch MacBook Air. Inside the box there is also included a MagSafe braided cable, a quick start guide, safety information, midnight colored stickers and a 35 watt charging bridge with dual USB-C ports for convenient multi-device charging. The Midnight Blue color is a dark, nice looking color, I like it, but there is a serious fingerprint problem. That's why I am not going to suggest you to buy this color. We have three other color options on MacBook Airs, such as the Starlight, the usual silver and Space Gray colors. The MacBook Air M3 features the MagSafe Connect and two Thunderbolt ports on the left side and the headphone jack on the right side. Now the number of ports on this laptop may not be enough for some people. You might want to get an external USB hub or a docking station. This is the one I am using and you can find some links in the description part of this video. The design is exactly the same with the previous MacBook Air models, nothing has changed. The keyboard and the touchpad are also still the same. The screen is the Liquid Retina display with this resolution and it also has a brightness of 500 nits. The camera also has a 1080p Full HD resolution. The MacBook Air M3 has two options, either the 13-inch or 15-inch laptops. The one on the right side is my old Pro 13-inch, so as you see, if you prefer to get the 15-inch model, you will have a lot more screen real estate. And the Air model is a very thin and a light laptop. You can put it in your bag and carry it easily. It is very portable, even if you buy the 15-inch version. The battery life remains a strong point for the MacBook Air with up to 18 hours of usage. The MacBook batteries in general are powerful, they last long and their lifespan is also very long. I have a MacBook Pro M1 for almost one and a half years now and the battery health dropped only 3%. Okay, now let's talk about the performance. The performance of the MacBook Air has slightly improved with the M3 chip compared to the older M2 and M1 processors. Normally MacBook Airs are not optimized for performing heavy tasks such as gaming or video editing, but Apple is trying to improve the performance of laptops with the M3 chip. The Air model has no fan inside, that's why it gets overheated quickly if you try to do heavy tasks, but now with the M3 processor it is possible to do some video editing or even playing some games without having significant performance issues. Just keep in mind that the Air model is the entry-level MacBook, which is optimized for daily usage. If you need something much stronger, then I can suggest you to check out the MacBook Pro model. Now, if you already have a MacBook with M2 or even with M1 chip, then I don't think it's necessary to upgrade to the M3 version. It is slightly better than the older chips, but there is not much a big difference. It is like having an iPhone. If you have an iPhone 13 or even an iPhone 12, it won't be necessary, I think, to upgrade to iPhone 15. But if you are going to buy a MacBook Air for the first time or for after many long years, then you can buy the M3 version or at least the M2 chip version. If you want to get a cheaper MacBook, you can buy the M2 version, but I wouldn't recommend you to buy the M1 chip. I see that in some other YouTube videos, creators are suggesting to it is okay to buy the M1 chip, but I think that might not be a good idea because the first M1 chip was released in 2020, which was four years ago. And after some point, Apple can drop support for very old devices and don't release software updates. Maybe for the next two or three years, the M1 will still be relevant, but after some point, I think they will drop support. That's why if you want to buy a long lasting MacBook for the next five to seven years, I say, then consider at least getting the M2 chip. Alright, the next thing we need to talk about is should you get the base 8GB RAM or should you pay $200 more and buy a 16GB RAM? 
I think 8 GB of RAM is kinda low for today, but it depends on your usage. If you are a daily user, just browsing the internet, watching YouTube videos or writing an email, you might be fine with the 8 GB RAM. But if you do some multitasking, like listening to music, writing an email, browsing the web with 20 tabs open at the same time, the memory can be heavily pushed to the borders. In this case, I would suggest you to upgrade to the 16 GB of RAM for multitasking and for other performance intense tasks, such as coding, gaming or video editing. I'm using a MacBook Pro M1 since 2022, and even my laptop with the M1 chip has 16 gigs of RAM, it saved me from having headaches and performance issues. Let us know your thoughts about the MacBook Air M3 in the comment section. If you decide to purchase it later using my links in the description, you will support my channel, because Amazon will pay me a small commission without any extra cost to you. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.